Hey guys, welcome back to Brick System Brothers. We've got a decently sunny day here on my visit to Iowa. And I have a decent sized stash of parts that have been aged and yellowed up uh, that just come in from my different bulk lots. So I'm going to try to do the peroxide today. Uh, hopefully we've got enough sun. Even with the cloud cover, I think there's still enough of the, the UV coming through and that's what actually activates the hydrogen peroxide um, and hopefully we'll treat these pieces get them back to um, their original color. Some of these are really bad. Most of the colors that need fixed are white, so that's the one that, that shows the most, and that will actually yellow down to a tannish color, uh, more of a cream. So I'm hoping to get those fixed up. The other one that does it quite a bit is light gray, and I even have some of the light bluish gray that have um, just kind of darkened over the years. I think it's mostly due to UV exposure. So it's kind of interesting that UV is also what takes it, it back. Um, but again, the crucial ingredient here is that peroxide. A little bit of blue as well. I'm not sure how, how effective this will be at bringing the blue back, but I have seen good results on white and light gray before. So that's today's project. All right, so here's the setup. Just something level surface to put two trays on. I'm using glass trays that are, one's a shallow, one's a little deeper for some of those larger parts. Um, and glass just because, you know, we can get all the light in that's possible through the sides as well. And glass is not gonna react with anything, so um, I'm sure there's a lot of other stuff that's it's probably fine to do this treatment in, different types of containers, but I haven't done a lot of research. I just know that glass is a pretty safe bet most of the time. I did have one piece saved back to really show what we're looking at here, just in terms of the difference. So this little one by three area would be the original white color, and the rest of it is, uh, has been yellowed. And exposed so hopefully this process will get everything back to that original and if not uh, it will at least you know help I don't think we're gonna do the bricks any worse off than they were before so just regular um, off-the-shelf hydrogen peroxide this is a 3% and I do have this diluted with a bit of water just to, to stretch it a little bit. I think I am gonna top off these containers now that I have the bricks in and, uh, and try to just cover everything as much as possible and get it all somewhat submerged. Some of them, some of them are gonna wanna float a little because of air pockets, but if I can at least have surfaces under the solution, that would be good. And then the next part of the recipe is just to let it sit for a while. Uh, a couple hours at least. I'm not sure how long I've got before some cloud cover rolls in, but I'm going to leave it as long as possible out in the sun, bright Iowa sun, and then we'll see what we got. All right, a little change of scenery here. Got rained out the other day, so I had to set it up again in a different spot, but thankfully full sun now and really starting to see the effects kick in especially on some of these bigger pieces. Yeah, really good results so far. Some of them are just way, way discolored. I don't think it's gonna get all the way out, um, but a lot of them that were um, just partially on the way to that cream color uh, came back all the way to original white. So really happy with that. Um, I didn't quite get all of the pieces in for this second time around. I'm gonna probably have to change it out. And I've also lost quite a bit of peroxide to evaporation, so. Uh, there's still a little bit to work with here, but hopefully get a good look at these once they're through a little bit of a rinse. Um, but yeah, definitely things that are clearing up, just visible even now, um, still in the solution. And this full sun definitely speeding the process along. Well, the results are in from the attempt at reclaiming some of those uh, faded pieces. I'd say it went pretty well. 
some of the the biggest ones here were the light gray trailer and then these two white lattices and these cleaned up really nice i also have a six by six um in the white aqua color this is retired it's kind of a rare color and it was it had a little bit of the yellow on it and i think there's maybe still a just a touch on there, but it definitely improved. Uh, a lot of the large plates, again, not getting it completely back to original condition. Oh, and this is the uh, this is the uh, control group. These are brand new white pieces. So, yeah, just looking through here, there's definitely a few that it didn't come out. Um, Maybe like the inside of them that where it wasn't getting light, but even stuff that was printed that got cleaned up. Hold on. Without removing the printing. Um. So yeah, the flag and the tile there. I did have the issue with this piece where. It got outside of the surface of the peroxide and was in direct sunlight and that actually started to like almost there's like almost stress marks on there and so that one's that one's gone thankfully I've got extras of that don't need absolutely need it and the blue castle turrets were also unsuccessful but I think these had some of this on here already this wasn't necessarily from this round of treatment. Um, actually, it looks kind of cool. It's like a marble, marbling effect as the train goes through in the background. So, I think I'm going to hold on to those. Kind of a fun effect that turned out on there. But other blue pieces, I actually did have pretty good success with. And... Uh, these were kind of the yellowish color, so blue, especially older blue bricks, will fade, and they they go more of like a brownish blue. So some of them uh, that got back worked out to a normal blue color. Uh, that has some other things wrong with it. Printed torso, that one turned out good. But your your white pieces, old light gray, and uh, even different, a few different blue colors will get faded. Um, I've also seen new light gray pieces and new dark gray pieces. Uh, if they're left in direct sunlight, those will turn sour. So, I'm happy with this batch. Um, right after I finished the rinse and got it back down to uh, pack it up before I came back to Illinois, I noticed that there was a whole nother tub of discolored pieces that I did not grab. So there's already another batch waiting for the next round. Um, but that's going to probably be a not very often treatment. I think it, it is more effective when you have a lot of pieces to go at once because it's a pretty time consuming process. And um, especially if you just have a few discolored pieces that are like just regular bricks or plates it might not even be worth trying to bring them back if they're a common part. It's just kind of kind of an involved process to bring that color back. So, the options out there, hydrogen peroxide uh, does do a pretty good job at removing the yellow discoloration. What does remain to be seen here is will they stay this way or will they kind of revert more easily now that they've been treated? So that's kind of a question that will be unanswered. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to be putting these in direct sunlight on purpose, but especially these two pieces, um, I'll know down the road, unless I end up with more of them, if they start to revert back to the discolored, that, that's probably because that's how they were. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm not going to be leaving these in sunlight if I can help it. So hopefully they'll stick around in their restored state for a little while and I can build stuff with them now and just have correct fresh looking parts instead of worn down tan ones because some of them are pretty bad and some of them are still not quite done but that's okay not gonna be perfect
I'm happy with what I got. I think it worked well. So yeah, did end up with a nice day for it there on the second attempt. I uh, was able to leave them in the sun for maybe five hours. Um, and I did go back a couple times just to make sure things were in the water. Uh, like I said, with this plate, that one did get a little bit uh, damaged, but the rest of them turned out okay. So it's going to take some time. It's going to take some hydrogen peroxide, and it's going to take a sunny day. But with uh, the good recipe like that, you can bring your pieces back. So I'd recommend it. Give it a shot. Um, see what you can do. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time on Brick System Brothers.